Welcome to the CCNA certification course. My name is Mohammed Hurais and I am going to be your instructor for this entire course. I have 15 years of experience in networking industry with hands-on experience and various certifications across multiple vendor platforms including Cisco, Huawei, Nokia and Juniper. My main goal during this course will be to pass on my knowledge to you guys and prepare for the CCNA certification exam. In this course, you will not only learn the theory but also get, get some hands-on experience with the devices you need to work in the real world. This course will help you lay a solid foundation for your future networking career and develop the skills you will need to pass any networking job interview. So why is CCNA, I mean Cisco CCNA certification that important? As you know, most enterprises and corporations use Cisco products and their services in their networks. This indicates that IT professionals who understand and can tackle Cisco technologies are mostly looked after. The CCNA certification is the primary step in certification for such IT professionals. It ensures you are well equipped with basic understanding of Cisco technologies and fundamental principles of networking. The Cisco CCNA 20301 exam comprises of six domains. The first one includes network fundamentals, in which we will discuss about different types of network components and its role and functions, such as different type of network topology architectures, different cabling types, IPv4 addressing and subnetting, IPv6 addressing types, wireless principles and switching concepts. The second domain comprises of network access, which includes layer 2 technologies such as VLANs, trunks, layer 2 discovery protocols, ether channel, spanning tree and wireless access point modes. The third domain is IP connectivity which includes layer 3 features such as routing table, components of routing table, how a router makes a forwarding decision, routing types such as static routing and dynamic routing which includes OSPF protocol. Then we have uh, another domain IP services which includes services protocols such as NAT, NTP, DHCP, DNS, SNMP, Syslog, SSH, FTP, TFTP and QoS. The fifth domain uh, is Cisco, sorry, security fundamentals, which includes key security concepts, different types of VPNs such as remote access and side-to-side -side VPNs, access control lists, lists, layer to security features, AAA concepts, and wireless security protocols. And the last domain and the most important and the advanced one, which is automation and programmability. Impact of auto, which includes impact of automation on network management, controller-based and software-defined architectures, REST-based APIs, and different configuration management mechanisms such as Puppet, Chef, and Ansible. So please go ahead and sign up to embark on the CCNA journey with me. I'll be waiting for you guys. Thank you.